what up guys bitcoin sitting around 62,000 almost 63,000 crypto bull run is almost upon us and yeah i'm just ready to become a crypto millionaire already but today we're going to be talking about zephyr one of our favorite uh crypto projects on this channel as you guys do know i do hold a decent position because i definitely think zephyr is going to moon um if you don't know zephyr protocol the over the untraceable over collateralized stablecoin it's essentially uh something like monero but on steroids and really cool so we're going to go over that we're going to go over charts see where it's going to be going in the short term we know where it's going to be going in the long term at least i'm going to say at least 200 to 400 dollars by the end of this bull run and yeah this is going to be a quick video so go ahead like and subscribe check out the links down below they'll make you some money they'll make me some money we all win we all become millionaires and yeah we're trying to get to 500 subscribers so go ahead and do that and let's get into it okay so we're going to be talking about zephyr um yeah, this project is awesome. We're not going to go too much into all of the docs and whatnot. I have plenty of other videos on it. I definitely recommend you guys go ahead, check it out, go check those out and whatnot. But if you guys are here from the last time and you saw my last video on Zephyr, last time we drew up this amazing, amazing chart. And had you followed my chart last time, I did put in a couple hundred dollars of Zephyr uh, during the last video. And had you done what I did, you guys would have at least 2x'd what you put in, which is always really awesome to see. So we are going to clean up this chart really quick so that we can get a better look. If you haven't seen that last video, I highly recommend you guys go back and watch it just because it gives you a lot of information on how this chart formed. There's a lot of good, as you guys know, we're not... I'm not a pro crypto trader or chartist or crypt, uh, technical analysis, but I try my best. So we're gonna come over to the four hour chart for a second. And this is what, how you guys uh, can see how technical analysis actually plays out. It's actually kind of really awesome to see. So during our last video, we drew this line showing as on this side of the chart, uh, a resistance this one showing as a support turning into resistance and this uh resistance turning into res uh support so oh let me get rid of these dots because they will bug me we'll go back to the daily chart so last time we were right in here during our last video and essentially what i was saying if zephyr came into this zone and then it broke downward we would see more of a downward trend but as you guys can see it broke upwards it definitely bounced off of the resistance here but did not go low enough and then tested the support it bounced off the support broke up tested resistance again uh did not fall back down to support and now it has broken above that level of resistance so now we're and this is where technical analysis gets really awesome because as you guys can see we drew this line back here as a support level and zephyr tested that exact line fell down our resist our support down here it bounced off of that and now we're trading in this zone so um yeah it's nice to see that the technical analysis that we do on this channel actually kind of pays off and makes a little bit of sense so this is kind of where we're sitting at now. We'll put a line here just to show where we're sitting at the time of the video. I'm also going to start making these white lines as kind of like the starts from previous videos. So it'll be easier to tell where the last video took place. We'll change the color of that because this will let us know whether the technical analysis we do on the channel is any good or not. So, um, I was looking at this chart and there's thing called a V bottom pattern, which is currently what we're looking at. Um, 
this chart is a powerful bullish reversal pattern and appears in all markets and all time frames. But due to the nature of the aggressive buying that takes place when a market reverses direction, it is difficult to identify this pattern in real time. Um, so one thing about a uh, V bottom pattern, um, here's the same V bottom pattern in the crude oil. This that's the chart they're trading on, but shown on the four hour chart, note that although momentum spiked lower at the low, there was a momentum divergence present between the MACD history low and price before reverse higher with dramatic increase in momentum. And that is exactly what we're seeing here on Zephyr, which is actually really cool because we drew that and then um, it broke out. And so we did really good on that trade. So what we're going to do this time is get our handy dandy line drawer. And we're going to put one there. We're going to draw it up through here. And I like to draw it to the nearest support or resistance. And then on this side, let's see. Um, oh, let's go back to the four hour chart. Okay. So then we'll come over here and where it bounced off of that, we'll draw a line. down out to here. Okay. So what I'm kind of seeing here Okay. So, this is kind of what we're going to be looking at for Zephyr here. So, if we fall back down into this zone here, I don't like that scribble. And then we could have a zone going up here. And then we'll have this should actually be red. Delete. I'll explain my logic here in a second once I get this to cooperate. Okay, we're gonna redo this real quick. So, we could potentially see it fall down into here. We can potentially see it break up into here and we can also, nope, trade sideways into here. This should not be that color. Okay, so this is kind of what we're looking at. Oh. Kind of looking at for Zephyr's chart. Currently we're trading, trading around that 20, we'll just say $25 range to round up. And so our next breakout could potentially put us back. I think our next breakout will definitely put us back into that closer to that 32, the 30 to $32 range. And we could trade sideways there for a minute, but if we were to scroll out, our next major resistance level to hit is going to be that $29 mark. And because we are showing this V, uh, this V bottom pattern, I could potentially see us, uh, coming up to this 25 to $29 range and trading sideways into here for a minute, just because if you do look at some of these V bottom patterns, they'll usually have the top of the V, then we'll have the downtrend. We'll hit the reversal. After we hit the reversal, there tends to be a pullback or a sideways motion trading as you guys can see here. So right in Zephyr's chart, we're right about in this range. As you guys can see, there's the 
a big uh, downward candle before it starts to continue to pull up with miniature pull-ups through there. And then if we go back to our chart, we can see the downward trend. We do some consolidation down here. We have the big up, a little bit of pullback, a big, more big up, an even bigger pullback. Let's see, go from here. Um, not that one, do the ruler. Okay, one second. Ah. Okay, so we'll come here, we'll go from here to this one. And then we'll do another one from here to there. And so then we'll take this one. Oh, well, so as you guys can see from that, our next one can possibly take us back up to right there, potentially by the end of next week, which is kind of awesome to see. But that's only if we continue to ride the support line all the way up. But looking at Zephyr's past charts, where that X is, um, we'll assume that it's going to trade similar to the past. As you guys know, that history does not repeat itself, but it does rhyme. Also, go ahead, like, and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers. Don't forget to check out the links down below. Make you some money. Make me some money. And also, if we look at that movement on how it draws up on our chart, if we were to break down, I could definitely see Zephyr potentially following this arrow and then bouncing off of this resistance here because that's kind of what Zephyr likes to do. It likes to find, well, we don't have much charting done for upward momentum, so this is going to be brand new on this chart, but um, looking at the past one, it fought with the resistance on the way up, did not, could not break resistance, traded sideways, tested resistance again, did not break it, traded sideways, and then up. So potentially what we could be seeing from Zephyr is it's going to um, come it's going to come up, fight with this resistance over here around $26 uh, in a descending motion until it can use this uh, support line as resistance. Because once this breaks into a support, this will break into a resistance and then it might try and follow that up. And yeah, I could definitely see Zephyr breaking its all time high potentially by, let's see. We're just going to do some doodles. So we'll use a new color. We'll go with, let's go with black. So my predictions for what Zephyr could potentially do is it's going to come up into this though. We're going to break downward a little bit into this range. Well, more into this range and then break upwards. We're going to trade sideways, come back down and then back up. And you can't see that worth a damn. Let's do a color you can actually see. Okay. So just looking at the chart, what I could potentially see Zephyr's next move is we're going to try and fight up into this range around 25 to 26. I don't think we're nece necessarily ready to break that. I see us trending down a little bit and then breaking strong above that $26 range and fighting in here for a second up to that 29. We may test this res, uh, support level again and then potentially breaking upwards to that $32 range by mid-April. So that's kind of my prediction. As you guys know, this is not financial advice. I do think Zephyr is a really strong project. Their website update looks really nice. They are currently working. They're very active on their social. And yeah, 
I'm really bullish on this project. I definitely recommend you guys go ahead, like, and subscribe. We're going to be following this project until it makes us a lot of money. And even after it makes us a lot of money. So yeah, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers. So go ahead and do that thing. And you guys go ahead and have a nice day. Peace out.